Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm a short, overweight, middle-aged white dude. I've got thinning brown hair, black loss. I'm wearing a grey t-shirt and I'm standing next to my Tesla Model Y. And in this video, we're going to have a look at whether the length of a cable really matters, how it does and how it may not. So I bought, when I first got my car, the 5 meter 22 kilowatt cable from EVSE. Um, some nice features about it. By the way, I have gotten a discount code from EVSE and I bought the 5 meter one, but they sent me some other ones, so I want to make that clear. And the discount code, I get a little bit of a cut, you get a discount, everyone's happy. Um, yeah, so they sent me, I bought the 5 meter one and I've been using it, it's been great. Um, a feature that I really like about these cables from EVSE is the fact they've got this trigger grip so that that way when you plug it in it's quite easy and quite firm and solid to pull it out and put it in whereas I've found some other cables sometimes have a bit more of just like a cable coming out and so I'm always concerned about cables kind of pulling down. And here's one of the challenges with the five meter one is let's say for example there was a car parked in this middle spot and it was charging on the charging plug that's closest to me. If I plugged on that side because that's the only one that's available, I can only just get the cable across with five meters and I'm putting quite a bit of tension on the cable which I'd imagine with electrical cables is not a good thing to do. So there is also a seven meter one which I don't have but there is a 10 meter one, which I do have. Now I will put down on the screen, the weight and the costs of the different uh, lengths. So you've got seven, five, seven, and 10, um, and the weight and the cost do go up as you go up, as you'd imagine. Um, but I've actually found that the 10, I mean, let me just show you how far I can get the 10 to go. So if I were to plug this into my car, it would not be at all a problem if I wanted to get to the other side of this charger. But just to have a bit of fun and a bit of giggles, I could actually go all the way to this charger. And there's not any tension or anything like that. So the 10 meter one is probably a little bit extreme. I mean, basically, I would say that if you can't reach your charger with the 10 meter cable, you're parked in another state. Or you probably just shouldn't be using that charger because it's just, yeah, it's just not going to happen. Having said that, I'm not sure how often I would actually need the 10 meter cable. I think probably for me, the Goldilocks solution would be to have a 10 meter cable just in case just in case of what I don't know, but if I know that I'm going to a particular charger where I know I might come up against this particular situation, have the 10 meter one. But I think the seven meter one might be the not too short, not too long, just right in the middle. Up until now, we've had the car for 10 months. We've been using the five meter one. I've only had this type of issue maybe once or twice happen to me. So maybe even the five meter one is fine for most people, but I thought you'd be interested in seeing the comparisons between the five, the seven, well, I don't have the seven, but the five, the 10, and the sevens, somewhere in the middle. Um, something else I will mention is whether to get the seven kilowatt or get the 22 kilowatt cable. I think it makes more sense to just get the 22 kilowatt because you might say, well, if I've got a Model Y or Model 3 and my car can only charge up to 11 kilowatts on three phase, why should I get the 22 kilowatt? I might as well just save some money and get the seven kilowatt. The difference in the price is not that huge. And also for me, being able to plug into three phase places like, like this is a three phase one and I can get 11 kilowatts. That 11 is noticeably better than the seven that you get with the seven kilowatts. So you may as well just get the 22 kilowatt cable. I've got a discount code if you are interested in getting any of these cables. So the discount code is EVEasy and that's with EVSE. I'll put a link down below. And um, yeah, I suppose that's really all I had to say about that short one this week. Um, I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like and subscribe. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so much for your support. And we'll uh, catch you on the next one. Safe and happy driving. So I'm probably out of the shot now, 
But there's another charger over here that I could easily plug into. Well, practice at stuffing up, yeah. Yes, yeah, I've had yes. plenty I've had plenty of practice at stuffing up. 